So, nearly Christmas time. You have any idea what they're going to do with us? No, I heard it's something like a Christmas reaction time, a uh, reaction video or something. Reaction? Yeah. See how we react. Oh, weird as always. <laughs> hmm. As a Christmas <laughs> tradition. <laughs> and probably not, you say. Could that could be, be Australia? Could be Australia. Could I'm also thinking of China, but it could be Australia. Southern America? No. No. I don't think so. Either Australia or China. They were the first innovator to integrate Christmas Close culture fall. into uh, Japanese uh, culture. And they have been so successful since then, so that uh, they still uh, have the highest sales of uh, the fried chicken during the Christmas time. <laughs> That's Italian, and um, that's a panettone, but I don't know the name for the other cake. But the tradition is to give that to family and friends. In Italy, we have two kinds of typical pastry for Christmas. And also, in Italy, we have two cakes, Team Panettone and Team Pandone. They are both a limited pastry, but the panettone has candied fruit and pandoro does it's traditional during Christmas time to give them to friends. Mm. This I would tip is in Chile. Gambas, seafood, uh, seafood and then spicy cooked. Brazil or Chile? Yeah, I would, I would also think South America. Yeah. yeah. I would I would think it's chilly. But it yeah. looks a little bit like you could also hang them into the Christmas tree, you know? <laughs> See with the... On Christmas Day, most ah! families in Australia will send Shame someone to do a prawn run in the morning and end up eating pavlova for dessert and playing cricket in the backyard. Sorry, Shannon. <laughs> wow, no, that I didn't know either. Christmas tree and going around the Christmas tree singing. I would go for Belgium, Belgium or the Netherlands. Probably Belgium, even if I've got Belgium family and do not know the tradition. In my home country of Denmark, the best thing about Christmas is that we get to spend time with the entire family. We have the tradition of gathering around the Christmas tree, joining hands to dance around it while singing Christmas carols, something I can highly recommend. <laughs> All right. Maple a day keeps Father Christmas away. <laughs> okay, so it, it, it's, it should be China. Should be China, yes. Yeah. The apple's always um, a gift also in, in German tradition, so. Yes, that's true. In China, there is a traditional special activity of Christmas Eve. We will share each other with this ping an guo, which means peaceful apple, to send our best greetings to the people. Well, that's great. Peaceful, peaceful wishes symbolized by an apple. Great thing. That's Spain. That is. Um, that, 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 that's a big lottery. Yeah, exactly. The entire, entirety of Spain got, gets crazy about. Yeah. And there are enormous sums involved. Uh, exactly, a lot of money. In Spain, one of our important Christmas traditions is called El Gordo and is considered to be the biggest lottery draw in the world with a price of over 2 billion euro. So let's hope that this year is a lucky one. <laughs> I think it's more about the sweaters as such, that, yes. you, that you knit sweaters and give it as a present to family and friends. And that's happening in nowhere else but in the USA. US. Yes. Yeah. It took 40 or 50 years for the ugly sweater idea to really come to full fruition. And it was then that American audiences saw the potential for humor in this really silly idea. And at a time of year when things can be really stressful, putting on something ridiculous can certainly take the pressure off. It's about awful, or sometimes not so awful, <laughs> Christmas weathers. Here again, 
So it's about dinner, it's about food, it's about plenty of food. Perhaps it's borscht, the soup. Perhaps it's Poland. But, Could but, be. but probably that's. In Poland, you would then see a fish somewhere as a big Christmas tradition. Probably, probably Poland. Poland. In Poland, the most important celebration is Christmas Eve dinner, known as Vigilia. It traditionally includes 12 fasting dishes. This number is a symbol of 12 apostles and 12 months of the year. During the dinner, everyone should taste a bit of everything to have a good luck in the next year. Clever you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Merry Christmas to everybody around the world.